Hello and welcome to Stockwatch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please, a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, none of which I upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of which I upon as any form of advice at all. It is just general in nature only. CBA comes out with what I think is a pretty solid number in where it's at. So reporting a cash profit of $5.01 billion. That's a 3% decline over the post-running period, but it is 2% ahead of consensus. It has a you know core underlying beats. Its asset quality remains quite reasonable, although it's benign. Capital is strong. Dividend is up year on year to now 72% payout ratio at $2.15. Market might like that in terms of where it sits. So watch that in terms of what is there. Revenue was better than expected, but it was overshadowed by net interest margins. And I do want to go into that quite heavily. Expectations had been that net interest margins would hold above 2%. It hasn't. It's coming at 1.99. And this is where maybe the concern with the CBA result will start to come to the fore. Because if you look at it, loan volume trends are soft. And it's across all key businesses. You look at mortgages, you look at business growth, you look at overall deposit taking. The system itself is on the downside ever so slightly. And that will be questioned by the market. And I think it needs to be questioned. Because again, if you listen to what Matt Common is saying, they believe 2024 is going to be one of the most competitive periods they've seen for a long time in where they sit. But as I said, good, solid number. And you need to look at bad and doubtful debts, fell to $415 million. That's quite impressive considering what's going on there. But again, across the number and the troublesome areas of impaired assets, there is an, a, you know, a provision charge that's going to creep in there. And it does show that even in this space, real household disposable income is negative. They had an incredible chart that showed basically if you're 50 or under, your savings rate is going backwards and your costs on things like essentials is now also having to contract to deal with the increases in loan repayments. So overall, solid, typical CBA number. The question really is the outlook. Does the outlook weigh on CBA with that incredibly eye-watering metric of a record all-time share price, a price to book, and a price to earnings near records?